Hey guys, welcome back. We're not on the farm today, are we? Nope. Nope. This is my friend Kylie. I'm Farmer Katie. Can you say hi? Hi. So we are in my kitchen today, aren't we? In my farmhouse kitchen, a real live farmhouse kitchen. It's not what you see in the Better Home and Gardens magazine. Do that. And we do. We have Snickerdoodle waiting for us. So before we get there, though, we are going to make Snickerdoodles. But Kylie, they're not just any Snickerdoodles. Oh. No. They're snickerdoodles with cream cheese. Oh, yummy. Are you excited? I am too. All right, so what we had to do beforehand, yeah. and guys, I want you to be thinking the entire time we're going through this, think of any questions that you have, right? Yeah. You have questions too? No. No? So some people at home might have some questions. So just think of some questions that maybe you had throughout the week for me about what happens in the farm, anything with snickerdoodle. I've tried to answer them as much as I can. But while you're thinking of those questions, we're going to show you how to make this awesome recipe. And the recipe will be uh, posted on the blog series website where all of the segments are housed. Um, so you'll see a link for that here shortly. And so we actually had to do this beforehand. So this is a mixture of flour, cream of tartar, baking soda, salt, butter, a whole stick of butter, egg, two ounces of cream cheese, and sugar. So that we had the dry ingredients and then we had wet ingredients and we had to put them together. And then because there's cream cheese in there, we had to put them in the fridge for, do you know how long? Do you remember how long? No. 30 minutes. Okay. We had to be in there for 30 minutes. All right. So now what we have to do is we have to mix up the filling. So this is just like regular snickerdoodle um, mixture, but we're going to mix up more filling. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. So we're going to come over here to my awesome hot pink mixer. At the over here. Yep. Give me your stool over here. So we had two ounces of cream cheese in that mixture. We put a remaining uh, six or six ounces of cream cheese. So Kylie, let's put the fourth cup of powdered sugar in there. Good job. All right, and now we need a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Can you do that? Here, I'll hold this for you. Okay. Okay, ready? Very good. Uh-oh. That's okay. It's gonna be pretty vanilla -y, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, push that for me. Let's go to two. There you go. <laughs> it's all right. Is it mixing pretty good? Yeah. Yeah. So this is going to be our filling. Yeah. Are you... We need a mix. We do. Okay. Let's give it a little bit. Hold on. Hold on. Let me just... All right. Want to mix it a little bit? Here, let's take it out of here. It'll be a little easier. Okay. Mix it for me as much as you can. Let's get some of that stuff off the bottom. There you go. Kylie's a farm girl too, so she's got some muscle, don't you? Yeah, because I drink a lot of milk. Because you drink a lot of milk? That's yeah. A, yeah, that's very true. But I don't drink a lot of milk. You do drink a lot of milk. You just admitted on live camera that you drink a lot of milk. <laughs> All right, can I help you out real quick? Yeah. Just got to get the very, very bottom. All right, All right. let's give it one last mix, yeah? And we're always going to, can we turn it to 10? No, I don't think 10's going to be a good idea. Uh, okay, make it. That's all right. No, well, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's make this one more time. Is it getting mixed good? Yeah. All right. So can you wash your hands real quick? And this is done too. Now Does that look done to you? Um, it doesn't look done, so we need to put it on for one more. I think it's done. Let's go. Let's take it over here and get started. Bring my stool. Oh, yeah, bring your stool. Could I mix it? All right. So in here we have cinnamon and sugar. Does that look yummy? Yeah. Yes, it does. All right. Why don't you go ahead and pour this? You can just pour the whole thing in here. Pour the whole cup in there, Kylie. You don't need this. Here. Yeah. That's going to take forever. <laughs> there you go. Just... Woo! All right. Yeah. Perfect. Now, here's what we're going to do. Yeah. We're going to take the dough. All right. So now we have our two mixtures, right? This is that there was dry ingredients in there. So we're going to get this out of the way. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to take our dough. Can I put it in there? Yep. Take, take this. And I want you to roll it in your hands into a ball. Like that? Yep. Good. Yeah. I do like this. I like this. There you go. That's looking like a good ball. Yeah. Good 
jump. All right, now this next part, you see and the ball? Look. You did good. Here, go like this. There you go. All right, I'm now it. it's okay. We're going to smash it anyway. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, we're going to smash it, smash it like this. There you go. All right, now we're going to put our smash uh -oh. dough. <laughs> Put your smash dough in there. There we go. Uh-oh. You know what? They don't have to be perfect. It's okay. All right. So, you're going to have to wash your hands again. Uh -huh. Yep. Go wash your hands again. <laughs> you can't keep up in your hands. All right. So, we have them in here. And we're just going to turn them over so they get all nice and cinnamon and sugary. And then, are you ready? Yes. Okay. We are going to, next step, actually let's do this. Next step is to take a spatula. Yeah. All right, now you have clean hands, right? Yeah. All right, take a finger and I want you to put a little bit, a little dollop right in here. A little bit more. Like this. Watch. Just like that. Okay. Okay. Can you do yours? Good, good. Now what we do, we can put the spatula back in there. You can, don't want to do that. There you go. Then we're gonna take our cookie. Yeah. So we have our cream cheese center in there, okay? Yeah. Now we're gonna take it and we're just gonna fold it around. So you can do that with your little cookie. We're just gonna fold it around. Yep, fold it around. Like that? Yep. And then we're gonna roll it back into the bowl. There you go, good. Uh -oh. That's okay, keep rolling. They don't have to be perfect. They all end up in the same spot, which is your stomach. Uh -oh. Okay? <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. I don't know either. All right, let's, we can start again. Okay, let's All right, let's do, here you go. Here, try a bigger portion. I'll give you a big one. Roll that into a big bowl. Big bowl. There you go. Another one too. Roll it into a ball. You gotta go. Put your put your fingers together. There you go. Put them together and then roll. Put both your, all your fingers together. <laughs> all right. And then we're going to. Uh oh. You're not rolling into a ball. You gotta roll it into a ball. Okay. I don't you gotta know keep how, your. I don't know how. It's okay. To just keep. You just gotta keep them. Here, let me see. If you watch. If you keep your fingers open, it won't roll as well. So you have to go like. Do you see how my fingers are closed? Yeah. So you just do this. Can I put my hands up? Yeah. Yep. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do these two, okay? You just want to watch? Yeah. All right. How about you grab me some, um, grab the spatula again with the cream cheese. Okay. How much? Um, just a little, like how we did last time. That's, that's good. All right. From over here, I'm just going to take a little bit. Not all of it. Not all of it. Just a little bit. Oh, heavens. All right. Put that back in there. These are a little messy, but they're a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Can I have another towel? Just give me one second. I'm gonna, we gotta get these in the oven quick. Fold so them. again, we're just folding these around the cream cheese mixture. And so they're already, they've been doused in the cinnamon and sugar. And we're gonna roll them again. And again, they don't have to be perfect. Um, they're just a lot of fun to make and they are messy. So, um, but they're a lot of fun. All right, so we're gonna roll this again. And yeah, guys, the, the key to this is to keep all your fingers closed because if you have your fingers open, oh, they yeah. will, I know, I see, I see. All right, so, all right, we just have three here, but we're gonna go ahead and put those in the oven. Okay. Yep, let's wash our hands off quick. I can lie a lot of food. Right, so Kylie, can you open the oven for me, please? Yeah. Be careful. Okay. Just open it up there. Awesome. And we're going to put these in. Now, these usually make about 30, and we'll do the rest later. So go ahead and close it. We're going to set our timer for about 12 minutes. And we'll see if they're done by the time we're done answering questions, okay? okay. All right, so we have a surprise for everybody. Are you ready? Yeah. Now, this usually doesn't happen. 
But uh, we brought somebody down to see everybody. Are you are you excited to show everybody yeah. who it is? Could I show it? Sure. <laughs> We're still in our socks, so. Snicker doodles in my backyard. <laughs> and she has dumped all of her food. Thanks a lot, buddy. So, hi buddy. So we made snickerdoodles for snickerdoodle. Now, cows don't usually eat human food, um, but snickerdoodle does love Doritos. We found that out the other day. Uh, so Can we get some Doritos to have? I don't have any Doritos actually right now. She ate them all. She ate them all. Okay guys, so I know it's a little, um, Can I sit on it's that? not the barn, but we are in my backyard, in my back porch with my cow. Um, I, I've always wanted to bring her inside, but my husband says no. So, all right, guys, this is your chance to ask any questions at all about the farm, about what we do here, yeah. about cows, anything. Marissa, do I have any questions? One question. Micah wants to know why do boy cows have horns? Actually, it's a really good question, Micah. And actually both females and male calves have horns. Did you know that? Now, um, you've noticed Snickerdoodle doesn't have any horns. We are getting to a really cool technological place, if you will, in, in the industry where we can actually start breeding some cows to not be born with horns because horns don't serve a purpose anymore. And if you let horns on a cow, they can actually use those horns to harm another cow. So that's why you don't see too many with horns. How far does your milk travel when you sell it? Does it stay in your home state only? That's a great question. So if you've uh, noticed our apron there, Land Lakes, we ship our milk to Land Lakes, And uh, just know that wherever the milk goes, any dairy farm that is in your community, the milk stays local and it's very, very fresh. So by the time the milk leaves our farm until it gets to the grocery store, it's pretty much, it's 48 hours. It's, it's not very long at all. Um, so I know our milk goes to two places. It goes to a Carlisle butter plant, that's the Land Lakes butter plant in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. And it also goes to the dairy made plant in Frederick, Maryland. Um, so, and again, our milk, because we have jerseys, do you guys remember what jerseys, why, what, um, sorry, what is different about their milk? And it is because high butter fat. So our milk goes into the higher but, uh, fat foods like yogurt, cream cheese, like the cream cheese we use to make snickerdoodles. Um, so yeah, that's a great question. Milk stays local. How old is Snickerdoodle? Snickerdoodle, um, is five. She is five years old. Oh, um, like me. Are you five? Yep. You're not. Yeah, I am. Oh my goodness. Kylie and Snickerdoodle are the same age. You're both five years old, aren't you? Yep. So, cows age a lot faster though. So, um, Snickerdoodle is a lot older by, from the, um, than you in cow years. <laughs> Well, I'm still, I'm both the same. You're both the same in age, kind of, yeah. How do you know which cows have been already milked for the day? So we, um, so the question was how many, how do we know how many or what cows have been milked for the day? So all of our cows are in different groups and we put them in different groups according to what we call their lactation, which means where are they at milking cows? Did they just have a baby not too long ago? Did they have a baby a uh, long time ago? So they're in groups depending on um, what they need nutritionally too. Remember the food video about how much and what cows eat? That TMR that we showed you, we brought Snickerdoodle some food yeah. down here. Do you want to show what's in there, Kylie? Yeah. What's in there? There's fruit. Ooh, what what kind of fruit is that? Uh, what is that? I think that is that looks like okra. <laughs> she got some veggies in there. Is that corn? This is a okra too. Looks like maybe. I'm and we have some beef. Yep, we have oh. corn silage and hay. Yeah, I'm sure let's see what else. So, depending on where the cows are in their groups, depending on what kind of feed they get, too. Good question. Do you have any boy cows on your farm? Do we have any boy cows on our farm? So, guys, all the cows that get milked are all female, okay? Um, because they produce milk. Now, if we have a bull calf born, we do sell them. And sometimes another farmer will buy them and raise them uh, for their farm. But on a dairy farm, all dairy cows are female. So we really don't have a reason to have any bulls sticking around. What is on the front leg 
of snickerdoodle it looks like a bracelet yes great question guys remember we went over this the other day this is her fitbit it is a little dirty i mean she is a cow so this is her fitbit and it's still no, we counting went over that yesterday. It is, yeah yes we did go over that yesterday um this is still counting her steps even though she's down in my backyard we know how many steps she's taking because it's transmitting wirelessly up to the barn so it's counting how many steps she's taking and how much milk she produced this morning do you drink your own raw milk <laughs> i do i do i don't like to sugarcoat that part um and it is illegal to sell in maryland so we do not sell it um my husband and i both grew up on it so but i do still like um store-bought milk because it has the vitamin D added to it. So we have the calcium, of course, but remember vitamin D is added to milk, so it helps absorb that calcium. So I still like to buy store-bought milk. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. And also just know that whole milk is only is 3% fat. So it's only 1% more fat than 2% or 1%. How long have you had Snickerdoodle? I have had Snickerdoodle her entire life. So like we said, she's five years old. Yeah. And Snickerdoodle and I have a little bit of a history. So when we first bought the farm, again, we've only been in Maryland six years, and we bought the farm six years ago. Well, five years ago, my husband had to make an emergency trip home to Vermont, and Miss Snickerdoodle was a newborn at the time. And Snickerdoodle had pneumonia. So pneumonia is when you can't really breathe very well, and you're sick, and she didn't feel good, and she almost died. And so I remember sitting in her pen with her for three hours, um, bottle feeding her electrolytes. Do you know what electrolytes are? They're like Gatorade, making sure she gets her fluids back, making sure she doesn't get um, dehydrated. So we have a bond because I think she always remembers that I pretty much saved her life. But that's what farmers do. Some we uh, cows would not have, I don't think, a longer life if we didn't. If farmers wouldn't intervene sometimes, because if she was out in the wild per se. There wouldn't be anybody to help her. So Snickerdoodle and I have a pretty cool bond together, don't we, buddy? <laughs> Excuse you. How big is your backyard? Well, if you want to come out and pan, this is my backyard. It is gorgeous. I do love it. Um, and guys, what you see growing out here is not grass. It is considered a grass, but it's called triticale. Triticale is a small grain, and it's really, really important for cow nutrition. So we are actually going to harvest this, which means we're going to take all of that off here in about uh, six weeks, six to eight weeks, depending. And we're going to take that and we're going to feed it to the cows. So Snickerdoodle will be, um, and that's actually, that's what's in her feed right now, but from last year. So there's always something growing in the fields because once this comes off, we're going to plant corn. How many gallons of milk does the farm produce in a month? How many? Oh, in a month. That's a really good. So every, you do the math, okay? Every other day, we ship about, we're going to say 5,300 gallons. Remember, we go by, by pounds. So we ship 45,000 pounds on average every other day. So that's about, that's about 5,300, so 5,300 gallons. So that's every other day, though. So I want you to get back to me with the math. Okay, I think that'd be a good math lesson today. How many calves has Snickerdoodle had? Snickerdoodle has had three calves. She's had three calves. Cows have their first baby at the age of two. That might sound really young, but remember guys, cows mature a lot faster than even dogs. Do all of your cows have names? They do not. Do you guys remember how many cows I have total? 800. That's a lot of names. So really the special ones and the pets, they get the names. I wish I could name them all. <laughs> what are cows' favorite things to do? Do they have hobbies? Cows, so Jersey cows, absolutely love to play with their tongues. Absolutely love. Um, we have a competition over on Instagram on Tuesdays. We call it Tongue Out Tuesday. And we see which breed. So is it a Jersey? Is it the black and white Holstein? Is it a brown Swiss? There's so many different breeds of dairy cows to see who plays with their tongue the best. Here's a hint. Jerseys usually win. My daughter Carrie wants to know how much does Snickerdoodle weigh? Snickerdoodle weighs about a thousand pounds. Um, she's actually a very large Jersey. So I'm, I would say closer to probably 1200 pounds for her. 
First grader Grace wants to know if Snickers Doodles milk would be good to make ice cream. It would be really good to make ice cream because again, she has the butter fat. And sorry, let me, that was a brain fart I had on the last one. Doodle weighs closer to 2,000 pounds. Sorry, I was thinking of a, of a smaller heifer. Um, but yes, yeah, Snickerdoodles milk would make amazing ice cream. How often do you breed your cows and how often do they have babies? So a cow has one baby a year. Sometimes they have twins. It's not uncommon for a cow to have twins. I've actually delivered two sets of triplets before, which is pretty cool. That's very rare, by the way. Um, but a cow usually has one calf a year. Uh, what was the other part of the question? Uh, how often do you breed your cows? So cows only get bred when they're ready to be bred. So that means we need to make sure after they have their last calf. So Snickerdoodle had her last calf in January, her, her third calf in January. That's my friend's birthday. And after she had her calf, um, she still, what month is this, March? No, she just has not been bred yet. So every farm is different when we have uh, what we call waiting periods. So we need to make sure the cow's back in good health before she gets bred again. Um, compared to if a cow's out in the wild, she would just get bred like the day after she gave birth. And we don't want that. We need to make sure the cow's in good health before she starts to carry another calf. Are cows your favorite animal? They are. Um, they're my num. Well, it's a tight race between cows and cats because I do have two fat cats, which I was going to show you today, but um, they ran as soon as Kylie came in the house. <laughs> Is the public allowed to bottle feed a calf on your farm? Um, that's a good question. So we actually just started an ice cream business last summer. And so we do have people come, you can see the calves, but we don't usually let anybody bottle feed the calves. Um, we might be able to set something up, you know, privately, uh, but we do have strict protocols here. And so we need to make sure the safety and health is foremost of those calves. Our son, Nathan, wants to know how long does a cow produce milk for? How long does a cow produce milk for? So that usually goes, um, I hear it. We'll get there in a minute. Um, Use, so per year, so a cow only has, uh, she has maternity leave before she has a calf. What? So that maternity leave is about 45 to 60 days, depending on the cow and what she needs. Average lifespan is about eight years. I know that doesn't sound like long, but here's the thing, guys. Again, cows mature super fast, and that's average. We've had cows that lasted to 12, 14 years old. I named them dinosaur, by the way. Uh, but it can, it's all about genetics, too, right? So just like kind of like a human, if, if there's, you know, predisposed cancer in the, the um, family genes, cows can get it, but um, it all depends on how well you treat the cow too. So we have cows that last a lot longer than that. Give me one second, guys, I'm gonna pull the cookies out of the oven. Yeah. Yep, you ready? Okay, let's see what they look like. Could I hold them? Well, I mean, it's gonna be really hot. Ooh, let's turn this off, it's annoying. Oh, yeah. oh, they look so good. Can we give one to Snickerdoodle? We can, let's let them cool off a minute, okay? And then can we give one to Snickerdoodle? Yeah, we'll see if she'll eat it. Let's see if there's any more questions first, okay? Yeah. All right. Are we staying outside? You can go outside. How did Snickerdoodle get her name? So I have we have godchildren um, in New York, and I didn't have a name for her because I, I love naming things. Um, and I just, I didn't have a name for her yet. And so my godchildren were down visiting and my godchild Luke was like, can I name her Snickerdoodle? I'm like, absolutely. So that's, that's how she got her name. <laughs> Where is the farm located? We are in Union Bridge, Maryland, with, which is North Central Maryland. So we are in the northern part of the state. We're 45 minutes from Baltimore, um, but only 20 minutes south of Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. How many acres do you have? We have about 110 acres total, um, but what you saw out here with the triticale, that's only 87 acres. So only 87 acres to grow crops, which is not enough to feed all of our cows, which means we have to uh, buy a lot of our food, which is really expensive. Which, by the way, feed on any farm is the most expensive um, thing that we pay for. And just here at this farm, we pay $25,000 a month just to feed cows. Grace would like to know, do cows have twins or usually just one baby? Uh, they do have twins. They do have twins. Um, it's not, it is, it's, it's not uncommon. They do have twins. Usually though, they only have one calf, but they do have twins. 
We have an answer to your question of 79,500 gallons a month. Wow, thank you so much. So 79,500 gallons of milk a month is how much we ship. Thank you for doing that math. Um, if you haven't noticed, I have some Spanish in my, uh, my kitchen. I'm a part-time Spanish teacher also, not a math teacher. So, hey Kylie. So answering questions. All right, give me a couple more questions. Everett would like to know how many babies has Snickerdoodle had? So again, she's only had three. Um, and again, her last one was in January. Do you have any other animals on your farm besides cats and a dog and cows? Mallory, age four, and thank you for your videos. No, we don't. Um, we are strictly a dairy farm. So most dairy farms are. Um, so no, we don't. My husband, I think, would like chickens at some point, but um, we just have dairy cows. And you're welcome for the videos. I enjoy doing them. Do cows, do cows like loud noises? They do not. They do not like loud noises. Um, cows are very calm, docile animals. So as you can see, like Snickerdoodle's just chilling like a villain out there. And um, so when they, I don't know if you noticed yesterday in the milking parlor, everything was pretty quiet except for the milking machines. And when we have, Kylie apparently is teaching a, an, an invisible audience behind us. Um, when you go in the milking parlor, when I do uh, in-person farm tours, I tell everybody to be very quiet. There's no shrieking, really no talking unless you have questions because we need to have a calm environment for the cows. And we try to have that in both the barn and the milking parlor. How tall is Snickerdoodle? Oh, Snickerdoodle, how tall are you? Well, I am 5'6". No. Four and a half feet, maybe? Sure, we'll go with that. Kylie's just shy of four foot. Oh, perfect. perfect. I'm not four foot. I'll do numbers. <laughs> <laughs> are Snickerdoodle's babies named? They are not. Her last calf was actually a bull, so he left. Uh, he was here for about three weeks, and then he left. So, um, like I said, a lot of times a lot of uh, another farmer will buy them if they have a purpose for a bull calf. Again, on a dairy, we don't have a purpose for a bull calf, so we just have all the females. Will you, will you tell us how to say cow in Spanish? Nico seven and Silas six, we are take learning Spanish too. Yay, that's so exciting. Yes, cow is vaca. Can you say vaca? And yeah. milk is leche. Um, and yeah, I, I love teaching Spanish, and I think I might offer some lessons next week, guys, on my Cow Comfort In page. Do your cows get washed? Um, they don't, but they keep themselves pretty clean. And that bedding that I showed you in their stalls also keeps them pretty clean on a daily basis. How many calves do you have on your farm? Calves, usually at any time in that calf barn that I showed you on Monday's video, there's about 60 calves in there. And we're going to do, let's just do two more questions because we have to... What? That's it. Oh, that's it? Cool. All right. So guys, let's take a look at our finished product. So we have our three snickerdoodles here, and if we cut them open, oh my goodness, I'm so excited to eat these. Kylie, come here, look what we made. Come here. Check this out. So they're not just any snickerdoodle. This is snickerdoodles with cream cheese. Are you excited? Yeah, can we eat them now? We can eat them now. Do you want to get some milk out? You can't eat these without any milk. I mean, snickerdoodle. We have snickerdoodles. Are you excited? She's not excited, but we're going to go see if she's going to eat a snickerdoodle. Got one. Okay. Can you get the other one? Yeah. Please? Me too, And by the way, snickerdoodle in Spanish is snickerdoodle. <laughs> All right, let's go out and see here. Give you your other half. There you go. snickerdoodle? Well, you can share it with snickerdoodle if you want. All right, let's go out to snickerdoodle. What should we put on that? Well, you just hold it for now. All right, doodles. Look, we made snickerdoodles, right? <gasps> Look, she's going after yours. <laughs> You think she's gonna eat it? Can I just put my milk down for a minute? Here, doodles. No? You want it? No? Well, I think she's too sweet for her. All right. Want it? Hey. No, I think she misses her herd mates. I think we should probably go put her back in the barn. What do you think? No. No?
Well, I think Doodles wants to go. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this segment. Thank you so much for following me all week this week. If you want more and you want to see what we do on the farm, I did do a really, it's kind of a lengthy farm tour, but I think you'd enjoy it over on my Cow Comfort in Dairy page. So if you look up Cow Comfort in Dairy, and that's I-N-N, -N, like the hotel, you're, and if you scroll down, you'll see the farm tour that I did last Friday. And again, this recipe will be posted. It is so good. I'm so excited to make more. Are you excited to make more? We're going to make like two more batches. And don't forget to have it with a cold glass of milk. And if you have any questions, guys, please make sure you ask a farmer because we do this every day and we're less than 2% of the population. And we love what we do. We love providing milk to you and your family. Have an awesome day. Adios.